Welcome back to another video guys. My name is Christopher from Cars Unlocked. I'm gonna be showing you today some common issues that you might run into when connecting to Android Auto in your Nissan vehicle. And of course, we're gonna show you the solutions and how to fix them. So let's get started. First things first, you wanna ensure that your car and your phone is compatible. So right now I'm in a 2023 Nissan Rogue Really in Nissan's, it's 2018 or newer when they started using Android Auto. So make sure your car is compatible. And if you're not sure, just ask us in the comments. Secondly, you wanna have an Android device with Android 6.0 or higher. So here I have a Google Pixel. This is the one we're gonna be connecting today. And on the Android Auto website, there is a list of compatible phones. So make sure you guys check that out. Next problem that might occur, you wanna make sure you have a proper USB cord. So often the cheaper like dollar store cords, they don't allow for that large connection here for Android Auto. You need a proper USB cord. Make sure it's connected, make sure it's in good shape. Typically the rule of thumb is if it has a USB symbol on it like this, it's going to work very well and it's gonna be a compatible cord. But often just having a cheap cord is a big cause of the issue. If your Android Auto still isn't working after you restarted it, I would recommend you go to the Google Play Store and update your Android Auto app or uninstall and reinstall the Android Auto app. So you just need to search apps, go to Android Auto in the Google Play Store. There it is there. And maybe click uninstall and reinstall it. And that should fix most common glitches as well. If nothing else works, there's two other final solutions, which is kind of like the be all and end all before going to the dealership. You could do a factory reset on your phone. Um, that will erase everything off your phone and basically restore the phone to the settings that it came out of the box with. And that's like a worst case scenario. Before you do that, I would recommend you do a factory reset on your Nissan. So you just need to go into your settings, other here, and return all settings to default. Hit that, reset all the vehicle settings. So everything is gonna reset. I can feel my seat moving now here too. And now you should be able to get connected again. Okay, so one of the most common mistakes that I see people make happens right when they turn on their phone. You'll see, when I connect my phone to Android Auto, this screen prompts you right here. And basically it asks, when you connect to Android Auto, if you wanted to automatically connect to Android Auto. And if you have it on Don't Ask Anymore and you hit no on this screen, it will never automatically connect your car to Android Auto. So every time I connect to Android Auto, I always deselect it so that it asks me every time. And now I wanna to connect to Android Auto, I'm gonna hit yes. And now it will connect me to Android Auto. If you have selected no on that screen and you need to go in your vehicle settings in your car, go to apps, smartphone connection, and select your car. And here you need to select the Android Auto button. So it's just kind of a manual process, but I would rather have it prompt me every time and automatically connect to Android Auto every time. That's a big problem that I see. Another issue with Androids, this happens right on the phone. So often on your phone, when you plug into your USB, so my phone is set charging USB here, and you can see it's only selected to charge. So I wanna go in and I wanna make sure file transfer and Android Auto is connected. And now you see my Android Auto is starting up because it's not just charged by USB, it's giving that transfer for the Android Auto. Another common issue that I find is making sure you have a stable USB connection. So my phone's actually a perfect example of this. If you look at my USB slot, it's all grimy in there. How dare you? These USB things are very sensitive. Your USB could be broken. Sometimes it will charge your phone, but it won't allow for like that file transfer connection. So you wanna make sure you have a stable USB connection. Both types of cords will work, whether you have a USB, C or a regular USB. So just check inside there, make sure that is cleaned out and you have a stable connection. You wanna hear that click right there when you pop your phone in. Now if 
those solutions don't work and you're still having issues, comment your issues in the comment section below and I can certainly try to answer your questions. But worst comes to worst, go to your Nissan dealership and if they have a young guy like me, then get your Android Auto working. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys learned something, hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. We got a lot of Nissan content on the channel. We will see you in the next video. Have a great day.